Okay, this video is about how to do a cutscene. So you beat the boss pretty much and then you'll go to the next room and you'll show a cutscene. So this is like the cutscene or you could do a first level and go to the next room and show the, the cutscene. So you move through the room, then it does the cutscene of the ninja coming in from right to left and then the boss coming from left to right. The ninja says something at the bottom and the boss says something at the top. And then it's going to time out and go to the next room. And that's the next room. So let me show you how I did the cutscene there. So you can do um, some basic animation within Game Maker by using timers and uh, images that will hit against another image, and it'll also like do an animation where it jumps from one image to the next. So let me talk about that. So this first message box at the top is purple for the boss, and then the blue is for the good guy at the bottom. So, the message at the top, I go to edit, do a create, and then drag in a coded sheet. And what's going to happen here is that I'm going to deactivate. I'm deactivating the message box for the boss and this object bad message is for the boss. And then also for the blue, for the good same thing I deactivated at the beginning because I don't want the message boxes coming up at the beginning. I want it to come in at a certain time. So they're deactivated. Depth minus 200. Now when the character, my character comes in, the ninja here, goes from right to left. He's going to bump up against this red line right here which is invisible edit that this is object stopper 2 so the object object stopper 2 has two, um, two um, things going on with it the first thing is that after 500 seconds it's going to jump to alarm 0 and then it's going to go to the next room so I kind of timed this just right, so my character talks, then the boss talks, and then after 500 seconds, it's going to jump to the next room. So that's the first thing that the Object Stopper 2 does. The second thing it does is that when my character hits up against the Object Stopper, it's going to activate the message box. So when I first start in, this, in the room, it's not going to show the message box for the good guy. Then when he bumps up against the red object stopper 2, it's going to activate the message box. So it blinks. It comes up on the screen. You read the text. So this character here, my ninja character here, it's going to move from right to left. Make sure it's set to solid so that way it bumps up against the object stopper 2. And stops. So he's moving at 30 speeds. The the head of the my character. And then I have another alarm set up where I should copy that alarm and put it in the crates. So alarm zero. I have alarm zero at 50 milliseconds when that kicks in. It's going to switch object hem to object hem 2 which shows an image of the character and he's squinting more and then after 100 milliseconds it's going to make him go back to object hem again which is the image of him not squinting. So he kind of talks, moves up and down with the, the mask to show that he looks like he's talking. So that's right, I don't need this in here because I got alarm zero here that makes him do the 
moving his mask up and down talking so that alarm goes in here with this object stopper so once he hits that object stopper then the alarm is going to kick in after 50, after 50 milliseconds then it's going to show him moving his mask and showing him talking pretty much and then it's going to make him stop at that red line and it's also going to activate the message box Make sure it's solid. Depth minus 50. And then this right here with him moving his mask. Like he's already squinted already. So in reality this could be just set to not moving at all. Because he's already bumped up against the red box by that point. And so this can be zero for him moving because object cam is when he's moving from right to left. Then when he hits the wall, then he's going to squint. And so this needs to be set to not moving. And then alarm zero is going to kick in with 100 milliseconds. And then he's going to switch back to object cam. So it's going to op open his eyes, move his mask down. And then after 50 milliseconds, on object him, he's going to go back to showing, uh, he's going to be squinting again with his mask going up, so it's going to look like he's talking. And then, like I said, the message box is already activated once you hit, hit up against the red box. Then you got the object boss talking, so he's going to move in after 80 milliseconds. And then I have this var set up here, image underscore speed 0 0.1. I've already talked about it in my previous video. So it's going to make the eyes blink back and forth quick, but with the var set up in there, it's going to make it go slow. So I don't need a whole bunch of images. So it's going to make his eyes blink slowly with this far set up in here. And then after 80 milliseconds, he's going to move 20 speeds going from left to right. So you'll see him on screen after my character comes in. Then after 20 milliseconds or 80 milliseconds, he'll come over from left to right with a speed of 20. And then when he hits the object stopper, which is this object stopper then he's going to stop not move anymore and then it's going to activate the message box at the top for him to talk make sure you set to solid otherwise he's going to go right, he's going to go right through the red box you don't want that to, you don't want that to happen so you got to make sure the boss is set up to solid so he hits up against that red line there it doesn't go through it then these are black bars I added into the game they're set to depth at minus 100 because you want the cutscene to be kind of like narrow and all that stuff you don't have to but I, I decided to do that because that's how Ninja Gaiden was or Gaiden and, and on Nintendo and then I have these lines here that show movement fast pace movement and then they're going to move this object line is going to move from right to left at 45 speed then alarm zero is going to kick in at after 200 milliseconds and then it's going to jump back to start position start position in the main the move tab here so it's going to jump back to the original position and then it's going to go back in again after 200 milliseconds. And then it's going to jump back to the original position, same thing. Depth 20. Then you got object line 2, which is going to be over on this side. There's object line 2 on this side and object line 1 on this side here. Object line 2 is going to do the same thing. It's going to go in, but it's going to go in from the left to right at 45 speeds. 
20 milliseconds comes kicks in or 200 and then it's going to jump back to the original position and then it's going to go in again and then it's going to jump back to the original position and repeat and that's pretty much it in this game so you can download the this tutorial and open it up and mess around with, with, with what I had set up here but that's how you can make a cutscene within Game Maker. I know uh, the original Game Maker, you had a, a drop in where you can add a video to it, but with studios, they took it out. So, this is a way of doing an, a cutscene animation within Game Maker by using a bunch of timers and uh, movements, you know fixed movements, stuff like that, to make an animation happen. If you think about it, it's the same thing as your character, except with your character, you're actually moving using the keyboard. But it's the same concept, pretty much, except you're not controlling the character. You're letting the computer take over and animate. Alright, thanks for watching.